Hello, and welcome back to Impro Eco. Uh, this is a this is a very new series called Adventure Time in Big Bear. Um, and today I will be telling you about pine trees. So let's get into it. All right, right here with me, I have a beautiful pine tree. Now, these pine trees are varying in their age. Um. And also, if you look up like this, look up, you'd be able to see all those little tiny spikes. Now, you may be saying that, oh, those are not leaves. However, they actually are modified leaves. What these leaves are meant to do are they are meant to store, uh, to store water, and, and it would actually keep the trees warm when during winter to keep it, the tree alive. Now, if we come over here, we can actually see that these are two, um, these are seemingly two individual trees, but probably they are actually interlocked with each other underneath the soil, and so thus far, this one has actually survived a teeny bit more. Um, as you can see by the thinness, the thinner the tree, that means the less it is actually being fed of water, so probably this one is, so it's probably either this one is acting as a parasite to this one, or this one is being a parasite to the smaller one. Alright, moving on. This is one big pine tree. Um, the, um, the larger the pine tree, uh, as I said over there, the larger the pine tree, the, the, I mean, the more healthier it is. Another way you can see how healthy it is is the quality of the bark. If the bark is, if the bark is, is, is very thick and, and easy to take off, that means the tree is really good. But if the bark is staying and it's like very thin, that means that the tree Die, they will eventually fall off and look like this the common pine needle that you would step on and hurt your foot on. <laughs> Moving on. This is not a pine tree. Right here. This is not a pine tree. However, this is. This is what we would call a symbiotic relationship where there's where they share water and share nutrients. So meaning these are actually two different types of trees. One on my right right here, I mean the one on my right right here is not a pine tree. I'm not too sure what it is, but um, it's, a, it's a pretty common tree for mountains. Uh, and on my left right here is an actual pine tree. As I said, they are kind of symbiotic relationships, meaning they are interlocked with each other. Um, moving on, this is um, not a pine tree either, but it's the same kind of tree that has symbiotic relationships with a pine tree. The pine tree that I was having a symbiotic relationship with was actually cut down. Um, so meaning that this one would just be getting all the nutrients instead of having to share. Moving on. Once again, this one was also probably chopped down in these. But these are actually two different, these are actually two pine trees that were probably interlocked with each other. And probably this one was acting as a parasite to this one. So initially people were chopping it down because they knew it was dying. Thank you for watching today's Impro Eco video. I hope you uh, click that notification bell and smash that subscribe button. And thank you for watching.